Welcome to our lecture online. So far we've been looking at partial differential equations with just two variables. What happens when we have three variables, x, y, and z, so three independent variables, and we are, we are given a partial differential equation with respect to one of the three variables, in this case x. So here we have the second partial differential equation with respect to x of the function u, and we set it equal to 1, and we're supposed to find the function. We're supposed to solve the partial differential equation. So we do it the same way like we did on the previous video, but now what do we do when we have two variables that are kept constant instead of just one variable? Well, it goes as follows. So first of all, we can say that the u sub x is equal to the integral of u sub x, x times dx. So it's a partial, it's an integral of a partial differential equation, and x is the variable, that means y and z are kept constant. So that means that this is equal to the integral of 1 times dx. And again, keep in mind that both y and z are constant. So it's not a bad idea to write that on the side to remind yourselves I'm integrating over x, but I know y and z are constant. So when we do that, we get the following. u of x, which is equal to the partial of u with respect to x, is equal to the integral of 1 with respect to x, which is going to be x plus, and now, just like we add a constant of integration for normal differential equations, here we have to add a function of the variables that are remain constant. In this case, both y and z are constant, so it's going to be a function of y and z. Now we're ready to integrate again because we need to find u, which is equal to the integral of u sub x dx, and u sub x is going to be equal to this. So this is equal to the integral of x plus some function of y and z, and the whole thing times dx. So this is going to be equal to, integrate x, we get x squared over 2 plus, if this is a constant and we integrate it, we'll get x times the function of y and z, plus, again, since we're integrating, we have to add another function of y and z, so let's call that g of y and z. So notice, this gets added on the first integral, and this gets added on the second integral, and so there we get u is going to be equal to this. So each time we integrate, we need to introduce another function where the variables are constant, and so we introduce two separate functions of both of those variables. Now, that could be zero, that could be a function of y only, and a function of z only, a function of y and z, it could be a combination of them, but we do have to account for them, and we don't know what those are, unless we have some boundary conditions that will help us figure that out. That's something we're going to learn how to do later. Here we're simply looking at the general solution, and notice the general solution has a lot of complexity that needs to be solved by knowing something about the initial conditions, the final conditions, boundary conditions, whatever it is that we're solving, to get the particular solutions. But we'll, we'll do that later in some further examples. At least, there it is, there's your general solution when we have three variables and we have the partial derivative of one of the three variables. That's how it's done.